Hey guys, it's Boki here from Gigi's Fabric Shop and Juki Junkies, and I'm here with the Juki HCL DX7, and I wanted to do a video with you to show you how to navigate the stitches and how to save them into your machine, because you can save up to 10 different customized stitches. And this is the same for the DX5 as well. So here we have our main panel on the machine where we do all of our adjustments. And every time you put in a stitch pattern, it's always gonna tell you what presser foot you need to have on. It's gonna tell you your stitch width and your stitch length that are adjustable with these knobs right here. Now, if we go back up a little bit more, let me get you guys a little closer in there. All right, there you can see how all of our stitches are broken up into groups. So I wanna to go to fonts and fonts are gonna be in the ABC category. And I'm gonna make my own little label that I wanna write on everything. So I'm gonna save it in to the file. So then that way I can just pull it up all the time and I don't have to type it out every single time. So how we do that is we're gonna to go to ABC. Okay, I'm gonna to go to fonts and there's there's that little arrow indicating that there's another page these are also little categories of groups of stitches that are up here and they'll tell you that so if i want to see what else is there you'll see all the other fonts and there's actually even more options after that too as you can see it just brings you back so i'm just going to go to this one right here i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to write out my name and this is kind of like old school texting back in the day on like flip phones and things like that where you have to like click it multiple times to get um, which letter you want. So here I'm gonna write out my name. And then if you keep going, you'll get lowercase. So I'm gonna write out my funky name just as I want it. And I think I'm gonna add a pretty little flower at the end because that's what I wanna write on everything. I'm gonna go back to ABC again. And then let me bring you guys back up so you can see what I wanna select. Let's say I wanna do this pretty little flower right here at 31, if you can see it, right here at 31, okay? And that's in the group, the little flower group, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my control panel and I'm gonna go to the little flower leaf and then I key in the number of that pattern and that pattern was stitch 31, okay? And there she is. And she's just gonna do one. So let's say, and you can do up to 70 characters for this, 70 characters. All right, so to show you that it's saved, I'm just gonna go back home and it's gonna ask you this. You're gonna say yes, because you already saved it, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go back to my filing folder, okay? And there it is, that first filing folder is closed, meaning that there's something in there and there is my special curated little label that I wanna put on everything. So I'm gonna click okay. And here are your options again, throwing away, pulling out, or putting in. I wanna pull this design out of the folder so that I can do it. So I'm gonna press okay. It's always gonna ask you, do you wanna delete the previously selected pattern? Because before this you were doing something else. So just say yes. And there it is. It's gonna have the eye foot on it. And I can do that with my presser foot that's right here. So I'm just gonna stitch this out for you so you can see how beautiful it is. All right, so I'm getting ready to stitch this out. I have my speed a little bit over halfway and I'm gonna use um, my start stop function to do that. Here she goes. Let me get you guys in a little closer so you can see those stitches. When it's done it'll slow down and stop so that allows you to cut your thread and let's see oh it's so cute i love the fonts and the decorative stitches on this machine i mean they're truly truly beautiful and the nice thing is you can go in here and you can trim in between each of those letters so then you have a nice crisp defined um sentence of whatever you want to write. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and you can repeat that up to 10 times and have 10 different patterns saved into your files and you can delete them at any given time as well. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at sewingmachines411 at gmail.com or call us at the shop. It's 813-661-9000. Have a wonderful day. Bye.